In this video, we're going to talk about Bactrim, otherwise known as trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. But for all of our sakes, let's just say Bactrim. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to dose it. So first, we're going to touch on some basics, the mechanism of action, what it's used for, formulations that it comes in, and some adverse effects. And then we're going to get to how to dose it. Okay, so as promised, let's start with Bactrim 101, the basics. I think a good place to start is how does it work? So here's our little model of a bacterium that we've been looking at. So antibiotics, we know, can mess with really any of the processes that we've named here. And Bactrim in particular messes with folate metabolism. Here is folate metabolism, and actually it messes with two steps in folate metabolism. And that's actually why it has that double name, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. Each does one of these steps. Bacteria need folate to make DNA and other things, so preferentially inhibiting bacterial folate synthesis will prevent bacterial growth. Okay, so then let's remind ourselves about the uses of Bactrim. So one that probably comes to mind for many of us is UTI treatment, in particular for E. coli UTIs or other gram-negative rods. Another thing that Bactrim can treat is actually staph. And so Bactrim will be used for, for example, MRSA skin and soft tissue infections. And lastly, Bactrim is also used for PCP, also known as uh, pneumocystis urovetsi pneumonia. And in particular, it can be used for both treatment and for prophylaxis of PCP. So then next, let's talk about formulations. So most people are going to take Bactrim as an oral tab, and it's a white tablet with a little divot down the side. So most people are going to take it oral. But it actually does come in IV. And if you get it IV, then of course you'll get it instead of in a tab, you'll get an ampule. Now here's a question for you. Let's say you have a patient and their kidneys are not working too well. Do you need to change the Bactrim dose? And the answer is that you actually do. So Bactrim needs to be renally dosed. And then lastly, let's talk about adverse events. So Bactrim does have a number that you might want to know about. One is that it is known to cause GI upset. That's never fun. Another is that it is a sulfa drug. You'll remember sulfa methoxazole was in the name. So if you have a sulfa allergy, you could get a rash. Then there's the fact that it can raise your creatinine. And something interesting is that it can actually do that without affecting your GFR, but we won't go into those details now. And then finally, it actually can cause neutropenia in some patients. And so that's something you need to keep in mind if you're going to give it over a long period of time. So that is Bactrim 101. And now let's talk about the meat of the video, which is how do you dose Bactrim? Now the first thing to know is that every Bactrim formulation comes in a set ratio of trimethoprim to sulfamethoxazole. So since it's in a set ratio, we could either dose by trimethoprim or by sulfamethoxazole. And it turns out that we dose by trimethoprim. So there's a key number to remember when you're thinking about Bactrim, a key number that you should not forget, and that number is 80. Okay? So the number is 80. Don't forget that. You can remember it as you were born in the 80s, or around the world in 80 days, or whatever you want, but just don't forget the number 80. So why do we care about 80? Well, because in one single strength tab, single strength, there are 80 milligrams of trimethoprim. So if there's 80 milligrams in one single strength, then let me ask you, in a double strength tab of Bactrim, how many milligrams of trimethoprim are there? There are 160. Okay, so now what? So now you need to know how many milligrams you want your patient to get. And so let's talk about PCP. For PCP treatment, you want to give 15 to 20 milligrams per kilogram Per day. And to be totally clear, this is PCP treatment, not PCP prophylaxis. 
And really, we're going to aim for this 15 right here, but we'll see that this range 15 to 20 is helpful. Okay, so let's use an example. Let's say we have someone who's 65 kilograms. So if they weigh 65 kilograms, how many milligrams per day do we want them to get? We just need to multiply 65 by 15, and that's milligrams per kilogram per day. And what do we find? Well, let's see, 65 times 15 is 975. So we want our patient to get 975 milligrams per day of Bactrim. So now let's figure out how many double strength tabs that is. So 975 milligrams divided by 160 milligrams. And we get that it's basically six. So what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna give our patient six tabs to take in the morning? Well, you might think that, but actually that's not ideal because we've noticed that sort of the maximum number of tabs that a patient can tolerate at any given one time is two tabs. And so instead of giving six at once, what we're going to do is give two tabs, and we're going to do that three times per day. Okay, so now it's your turn. Now let's say that we have a patient who's 80 kilograms. Why don't you pause the video and try to figure out how you are going to dose this person's Bactrim. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and figured it out, and we're gonna do it now. So you want to end up giving 15 times 80, which is 1,200 milligrams per day, and 1,200 milligrams per day is going to give you 7.5 tabs. So what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna have this person cut one of the tabs in half and actually take a half tab on top of seven? Well, actually we're not because the range is 15 to 20, so we can actually just bump this up to eight tabs. And then what is this person gonna do? Are they gonna take eight tabs in the morning or eight tabs at night? No, they're gonna take two tabs because that's the max that we really want people to take. And they're gonna do that maybe every six hours or you know four times a day. So let me ask you something. What if this person was getting IV Bactrim instead of oral? In that case, can they tolerate all of their daily dose of Bactrim at once? Well, the answer is they can't, so we want to split it up just like with the oral. But there's one difference, which is that amps are not double strength. They're, by definition, they only have 80 milligrams of trimethoprim each. So in this guy's case, you're not going to give two amps three times a day. You're going to give four amps three times a day. In this person's case, you'll give four amps four times a day. Now, before we finish, let's talk about the other uses of Bactrim. So some of you may know that UTIs are usually treated with one double strength tab twice a day. So clearly the dosing is different for PCP and UTI. So let's talk about the dosing for these other guys. So for UTIs, it's pretty much just one double strength Bactrim twice a day like we said. We don't really dose with any fancy number, but it ends up coming out to usually about four to six milligrams per kilogram per day. For skin infections, it's actually a little more than that. It's going to be six to eight milligrams per kilograms per day. And for bone or joints, it's going to be even more. It's actually gonna be eight to 10. So what you should leave this video knowing, Bactrim is dosed by trimethoprim. There's 80 milligrams in a single strength tab, 160 in a double strength, the dosage is different for different infections, and you shouldn't give any more than two double strength tabs at a time so the patient can tolerate it.